All right, first and foremost, we give our prayers on the Lord to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Bashem, Rechakodash. The blindness to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and who was worthy to be counted for the blindness. And peace and salutations to you, brothers, out there pushing the truth wholeheartedly and sincerely and full of the gospel. All right, this is the brother Gabaria from the Indiana camp. Come back as you game, one of the sit down. Um, and um, basically, I want to talk about a, a dream that I had um, about, uh, about two days ago. Um, so, um, yeah, so basically in the dream, and, and, and this is, and, and I, I never have dreams, all right? I just want to get this out there. I, I, you know, the years that I've been in the truth, um, I've probably had maybe one prophetic dream, you know, and, and that was about something else. But, you know, this is like the very first, you know, uh, vivid dream the Lord had gave me, you know? And, um, and when I say vivid, I mean, I've, I've, like, I felt emotions inside the dream where, you know, where it actually brought fear, it, it, it brought um, it brought different type of emotions uh, up, you know. So um, so basically in the dream, what happened was um, uh, uh it was just a normal day, and um, just out of nowhere, a group of a group of men, a whole a bunch of group of men, were uh were killing people. All right, it just came it came out of nowhere. It was a normal day. It, you know, everything was, uh, um, everything seemed normal. I think I was at a grocery store, maybe. You know, I was at a grocery store and, you know, nothing too ordinary, nothing was really happening. And just out of nowhere, a group of men was killing people with knives. And just, you know, it was like a, basically a militia group, all right? And and and, and in, a, in a few hours, the city was in, in complete uproar, all right? The city was, 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 was tore up, grocery stores were getting looted, um, uh, cars was crashing into each other. Um, and I'd seen all this stuff. I'm running, seeing all these things, and 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 I'm like, it's like I um, it's like I was a, 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 it's like it was happening in a few hours. Like you know, everything was being normal. Like it was like in the morning, during the evening, and then just like maybe to three o'clock in p.m. Boom, everything just got completely chaos. All right, it kind of reminded me of the movie Bushwick, you know, where the first couple of minutes of the movie, everything was you know normal and then boom what they seen a guy on fire then they you know then, then the one guy ran up there and got blown to bits you know um that's how I, you know the dream was and um i was basically running uh trying to find shelter and uh, a guy had looked at me a guy had had locked eyes with me and, and seen me and started chasing me and um uh what's it called um he he grabbed a couple more buddies and they were chasing him with Bowie knives. All right, you know, and and that's another reason, and that's another thing too. Um, I didn't see really too many guns. I just seen a whole, a whole bunch of uh, knives and swords and stabbing instru instruments. All right, um, it was like a lot of a uh, a uh, 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 lot of those. I didn't see no too many guns or anything, but you know, it was really more more so of uh, knives and stuff. But um, but uh, I was running from him, and 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 and. He, um, you know, he grabbed a few of his friends, you know, and, and it was a, it was a group of men chasing me, you know, and I was, you know, ducking through corners, going to houses. It kind of I kind of felt like I was in the Matrix. <clears throat> it's lucky. I kind of felt like I was in that movie Matrix when Neo was running from the agents and he was going through houses, you know, ducking over, going, jumping over ledges. I, felt, I, felt, I kind of felt like I was in that because the chase was like it, 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 it was real long. It was a drawn out chase, you know, and um. Uh, 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 at one point is where I came into an abandoned house and they, and, 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 you know, they, I hid myself and they were, you know, they came into the house, they were looking for me, you know, up under beds and, 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 and rubble and, and closets and, and, and certain things. And I made myself to the, the top floor and, um, and, um, I hid myself in a closet, in an empty room in a closet. And, um, when they, they eventually came in, you know, I think I, I think they see me or, you know, one guy see me and they eventually came in the room. They, they surrounded the closet door. And when they opened the door up, uh, I, I was uh, I was invisible to them. They didn't see me. And my heart was racing. My heart, my heart dropped, actually, you know, because I, I didn't know what they were going to do to me as soon as they opened that door because I was I was cornered. You know, but as soon as they opened that door, I was invisible to them. I actually remember them panicking, saying, where where, where is he? Where could he have been? You know, everything. And they was just. 
and they, 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 were, they were confused. And I'm looking at them like, you know, like, don't they see me? And then just, just I don't know if a, if a trance came upon me or the, it, was, it, was, it was really the spirit. I just started walking right past them. You know, just like the uh, just like that boy, or just like the homeless man in, in World War Z, like I was invisible to him. And I when I walked when I walked past them, I, I I walked far enough where they couldn't they didn't see me until I was already outside, like halfway down the block. You know, and I think one of them turned around and looked out the window and said, "There he is." You know, and I was already kind of always I was already halfway down the block. You know, so in that dream, it just basically showed me. You know, like the, the 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 terrors that's coming to this place. You know, and and it's it's and when the scripture says, you know, which I'm gonna read it right here is Daniel twelve and one. It says, and and at the time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth with the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never such as never was since there was a nation even to the same time. And I I the things I've seen, I I didn't even imagine how bad it can be. You know, it's like the things that we talk about in camp, it just be like a brief summary of it. Once you're once you're actually in it, it's a totally different story. Like when I was actually in that fire and seeing the things with my very own eyes, I was I was terrified. I was, it, it was it was a feeling I never you know, I it was a feeling like I've never even felt before, you know, and and and, and, and showing the you know, the men chasing me, my heart dropped. I was scared for my life, you know. But it was also a faith booster at the same time because when I was invisible, no harm, you know, the, the, the Lord made me invisible to to them in the naked eye, you know, and that's when I say, and that's when I um, and that's when I always be, I always be telling when we go out of camp, the Lord can actually bend um scientific science uh, the board, the Lord actually can bend and shape science t- to fit in your favor, you know, as He did uh, uh, uh um as He did to the other men uh, from ancient, you know. Like what, uh, uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego being in a in a, a hot, furry, fur, a hot, uh, fiery furnace, you know, cranked up to a, a, a maximum level. Paul getting bit by the serpent. All right, um, uh, what was it? Uh, Peter walking on water, you know, or in the time where uh, uh, Israel was at war and the Lord had uh had, had basically um, what was it? Uh, uh made the sun sun sit still. You know, the Lord can actually bend. Uh, 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 been science, been things that's that's un that's unknown to fit in in your favor. You know, you becoming uh, visible to the naked eye. Oh, that time where uh, uh Philip went to go baptize uh, baptize the eunuch, and then he uh, uh, a chariot called him up until he teleported. You know, or that time Yahweh walked by and, and and I think it was an old sickly woman uh, touched the hem of his garment and got healed. You know, so hey, the Lord can actually. Bend, you know, science to fit in your favor, man. You know, whether he can make you sustain, you know, he can make you sustain on, on um, what's it called? Uh, uh, he can make you sustain on, on, on whatever your last meal for, for 12 months or he can get or, or he can make a uh, food appear and to be in your favor, you know, or he can make you invisible to the naked eye. He probably can make you uh, 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 jump off a 12 story building and land on your feet and not feel no harm, you know. Scripture says what? The Lord said he, he should give his angels charge over thee, you know, where, you know, he, he might for for a brief moment might make, might make you feel no hurt or make, might make you feel no um, pain, you know. But guess what? You have to endure and you have to stay faithful to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right. Um. This is This is Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 6. It says, Ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child, whether wherefore do I see every man with a hand on his loins as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness. Alas, for that day is great, so there is none like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. All right, who is that? He's talking about the elect, man. All right, the elect of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha shall be saved out of it. But two thirds of Israel, as it says in Zechariah, who shall be what? Shall be put to death. All right, shall be cut off by slaughter. Shall, shall be cut off with the sword. All right. Scripture says what? The Lord shall search Jerusalem with candlesticks, man, and punish the men that are settled on their leaves, man. 
Scripture says what? Woe unto you, women of uh, 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 of uh, of Zion, who who are at ease, who are at ease, man. All right. The Lord shall uh, 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 the Lord is gonna destroy two thirds of Israel with an utter destruction, man. It's like it uh, uh, with an uh, uh, um with a horrible destruction. All right. But guess what? He shall save one uh, one third and one hundred and forty four thousand elect men out of it, man. Because what they stayed true and faithful to Yahweh Bashtin Yasha because they, they weren't moved by every but they weren't uh, carried by every wind of doctrine. They stood stiffly for the name of the Lord, man. All right. Because what? They made Yahweh Bashtin Yasha their strength, man. All right? Because they didn't trust in their riches. They didn't trust in chariots. They didn't trust in their house or their gun to save them. They trust in the Lord. All right? Because when their men when their men were chasing me, man, I didn't have nothing else to I didn't have nothing else to uh, uh, to fight the men with. I didn't get carnal and pick up a sword myself and or a knife myself and then try to fight back. You know, I gave it completely into the Lord's hands. I ran. And then when it, it was completely uh, cornered, the Lord made me invisible into them. You know, now I don't I don't I'm not making this. I'm not saying this. You know, I'm not saying that, you know, all oh, year the Lord going to protect me. And then they're like, I'm for, I have a for short ticket, you know. But, you know, in the dream that happened, you know. Um, it says, for it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord of hosts, that I will break his yoke from off thy neck and will burst thy bonds and, and strangers shall no more serve thee, serve themselves of him. It says, but they shall serve the Lord thy God and David their king, whom I will raise up unto them. Therefore, thy fear, therefore, fear thou, fear thou not, O my servant Jacob, saith the Lord. It says, neither be dismayed, O Israel, for lo, I will save thee from afar and thy seed from the land of their captivity. And Jacob shall return and shall be in rest and be quiet and none shall make him afraid. All right. So when we're in the kingdom, man, guess what? We're going to have completely utter rulership, man. Where the, the, the other nations that's, 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 that's uh, ruling over us, guess what? They're going to rule. We're going to rule over them, man. And none shall make us afraid, man. Just right now, if a police pull over you, or if an Edomite walk by, come knock on your door, talking about this is his house now, you know, or if a bank talks about they're going to foreclose on you, you know, no, nobody's going to make you afraid, okay? Especially these other nations, man. It says, what? We shall serve what? Yahweh Bashem Yahshua and, and David our king, all right? And complete and utter righteousness, all right? We're not, we're not going to be uh, uh, servants unto these uh, heathens no more, man. They shall be servants unto us, and we're going to be kings, princes, all right, upon the planet Earth. And we're going to be quiet, and we're going to be at rest. Okay? So, I mean, that's that's basically all I want to get into. Um, I just want to hit on J Jacob's trouble and show how, you know, how the Lord is going to ultimately protect us, man. All right? He's going to uh, protect the, uh, the elect and uh, 144,000 men of Yahweh Bashim Yasha, man. And I pray and I pray to Yahweh Bashim Yasha, I'm part of that number, okay? So, Lord willing, I hope this video was uh, uh, exhorting to you, brothers. I hope it was edifying as well. Um, until next time, Shalom.